Now we're going to set up the user interface for recording behaviors. First thing I'm going to do is put in some rows. So let's add one row for the first behavior, one row for the second behavior, and then a third row for the buttons for submitting and clearing. Okay, and then I need some labels just to clarify what everything is. So this first label will mark out behavior one. Our second label will mark out behavior two. And then in this row, I'll have two buttons one to increase and decrease our count. Same thing with this second row. And then this third row is going to have two buttons one for submitting data and one for clearing it. I also want to display the count that I'm keeping. Okay, so this will be the button that tracks the count for B1. And this will be the button that adds to the count for B1. And this label will keep track of our count for B1. Now we'll do the same thing down here. For B2. Label and then here we'll have a button for submitting our data into the spreadsheet and another button for clearing our data. Now in our blocks we're going to create to stored variables. So these are variables that stick around even if the app is closed. And this is going to be important because if we are using this app throughout the day, maybe opened and closed a bunch of times, and we want our count to stay there until we submit it. So we'll create one stored variable to keep track of our first behavior and one for our second. And the stored variables have an interesting feature. They have this when a variable initializes or changes. So when the program first starts up, these aren't going to have the value of 0. They're going to have the value of null. So we need to check for that. And if it's the very first time this program starts up, or if for some reason count b1 has gone to null, we want to set it to zero. So under logic, you can find null. And here's int count b1. And if it's null, we're going to set it to zero. And then we want to make sure that this label always displays the correct count. So anytime behavior one changes, we'll update our label that displays the count. And now we're just going to take this whole thing and duplicate it 
for variable B2 and make sure you change all these little parts in there. And now final thing we're going to add is our button clear. When that's clicked, we want to set both of these counts back to zero. So if we live test this, I can see that I got that wrong. So now let's try it. Ah, and now they both get set to zero.